Hey folks, so this is a quick tutorial on how to create something. It's so easy to create something on uh, Adobe Flash or Animate or any of those. Make sure to, to select your circle and click Alt and then you can, you'll can you be able to move this around in any way you want, creating a point. Uh, so you can just, it's so easy to shape the lines and work with them. It's such a user-friendly platform. I don't know why people design on Illustrator. You can do the same thing on Adobe Animate easily, as you can see here. So let's make him smile. Ah, see, there's no point. So you create a point with an alt, and there you go. You can now bend it in any way you want by pressing alt the first time and then just creating a point and bending it without using the alt key. So this is looking like a character, and it's basically, basically out of one circle, and we're just having fun with it. Uh, so let's give it some eyes. And here's a cool trick. You can empty out the circle right here and uh, put it there and... Now you can, the, when the lines interject, you can just delete the interjecting line. So now it looks like he has an eye on the other side, which is a cool trick that I still use every day. So let's give him some teeth, maybe for fun. <laughs> I don't know why I give him teeth this way. And uh, cool tongue. You see how easy it is to, to cut the lines that are interjecting. And once there's a fill, it'll make it so much easier to color it later on. You'll see that in a second. So I'm just modifying it for fun. It looks pretty cool. I'll give him an ear, my ear hole, and a bunch of hair. Just, it's cute, man. It looks like a cool character. Now using the pressure, I can give him cool eyebrows with my pencil. With the, I, use, I use the Wacom Intuos at work, and I have a couple of Cintiqs at home. So here's a cool trick. You can, if you change the color of the line, like I did here, and then you fill inside, you can just double click selecting the line and it'll separate it from the black lines. So you can just select it and delete what, what you don't need. And it's so easy to color. As you can see, the skin color can be so easy to just apply it everywhere. Everywhere there's a closed space, it gets much easier to, to do that. Let's do, do the same trick again uh, using this line to create a shadow. So this is a differently colored line where I'm creating the highlights and the shadows of the character from left and right, as you can see. So let's give him a light side on where the light hits, which is here, let's make it a bit brighter, okay? And a dark shadow on this side, which is so easy to do that, by the way, it's amazing how easy it is. And now I'm gonna do a cool trick. I'm gonna remove all of the outline for fun. You can keep a character with outline or without it. And this guy looks like he doesn't have an eye, so let's just give him a quick background. And there you have it, that's a character right there. And it took us, what, like three minutes to do it? It's so easy, and I'm, I'm explaining along the way. You know what, let's give him a nose for the fun of it, why not? Because we can. Just, you see, you can draw all over it. Now, if you want to rig a character, it's a different process, I'll show you in another video. But for now, this is just for fun. So I deleted it because I don't care. I've done millions of characters and that's it for today. Thank you for joining me.